At the beginning of the year, there was a lot of discussion about hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars being spent in order to put shrimp on treadmills. Well, here we are almost at the end of 2011, and I'm sure you're asking yourself, how is that project progressing? A few months ago, the National Science Foundation put out information on the study's $682,570 worth of grants, detailing their big question. How are human-made marine stresses affecting the marine life that we need? And they produced an informative video on why this study is so important. Let's take a look at the clip, and yes indeed, that's their actual title of this video. of the shrimp on the treadmill, which is that we, we uh, inject animals, these marine organisms, with bacteria, and then we see, can they uh, move and avoid prey, and can they, can they run on the treadmill, essentially, um, as effectively um, if they're mounting an immune response. These marine creatures live in a sea that's uh, a soup of microbial organisms, bacteria, viruses, all sorts of things. Um, and so they must have a, an effective way of defending themselves against these potential infectious organisms. Um, so we have been studying that for uh, a few years and f came upon a rather aha moment in our, in our studies, which was we found that when certain types of organisms like shrimp and crabs uh, mount a, a defense, an immune defense against these invading pathogens, um, that they actually are not able to respire as easily. They don't take up as much oxygen. So sick shrimp don't perform as well on treadmills as healthy shrimp. That's part of the answer to the $600,000 plus dollar question. But according to the website, there are more answers needed. Perhaps those will come in the new year as this project moves forward swimmingly with taxpayer funds. I'm Eric Shiner for CNSNews.com.